Hello, good afternoon. High pressure is set to keep us mostly dry and settled for the rest of this week and indeed for much of next too. But there could be one or two showers around maybe on Sunday and Monday and there will be a bit more in the way of cloud. Until then, it's pretty much blue sky and sunshine all the way, as you can see from our weather watcher photos taken here from Camberwell, from Putney and finally from Tower Bridge. And that sparkling early spring sunshine is just set to continue as we head through the rest of this afternoon with a picture of Northamptonshire. Yes, and proof, Martin, if you needed it, that even puddles can be pretty. Uh, the early morning sunshine, blue skies reflected beautiful in the still waters of this big puddle, which of course came to us courtesy of the deluge that we had yesterday. Now across parts of southern England and the Midlands, we had best part of an inch of rain, 24 millimetres there in parts of Dorset. But there's a big change in our weather patterns and where it has been wet over recent days, the weather's looking largely dry for the next week or so. The change is brought about by this developing big area of high pressure. Come the weekend, quite an intense area of high pressure with a central pressure of around 1,050 hectopascals or millibars, whatever you prefer uh, for your units there. Hello, good evening. Yes, the equilux for today. It means equal light. It's when you get almost exactly the same amount of daylight and darkness. It's not to be confused with the equinox. That falls on Sunday, and that's when there's 12 hours between the centre of the sun rising at sunrise and setting at sunset. But what sort of weather can we expect between uh, now and then? Well, chilly conditions by night. I think you'll particularly notice that for tonight. By day, some sunshine to be had, some lovely bright skies overhead. Uh, but for Sunday, I do think we could start to see some showery rain, although there is a bit of uncertainty about the detail. Lovely bright skies, I think, overhead for tomorrow. A shift in wind direction. We've got more of an easterly picking up, so I think we'll find the best of the temperatures tend to be out to the west of London, 17 there for Heathrow, maybe locally at an 18. Finally then, the outlook. Well, I think on Saturday, again, more sunshine to be had. Sunday, bit of a question mark with this possibility of some showery outbreaks of rain. Still, there's some bright weather into the beginning of next week. Take care. Hello there, Clive. We haven't got the Caribbean temperatures, but we do have some blue skies over the next few days. And the best of the sunshine today was across more southeastern parts of the UK. Further north, we did see more cloud as expected and a few showers around as well. The most of those showers at the moment are in Scotland. For now, it's hoped the beavers will find the London lifestyle suits them and they may be the start of a wilder London to come. Anna O'Neill, BBC London. Following that, here's Darren with the weather and it's been rather gorgeous today. No beavers, but it is getting otter. Oh, my God. oh, please yourself. I thought that was quite good. <laughs> I've been working on that one for hours. Now, I promised you some sunshine uh, today. We had some sunshine, but uh, tomorrow looks like we're going to have some sunshine as well. And if anything, if these graphics work, it's going to get even warmer as well. So temperatures are rising a little bit for tomorrow. It's going to feel, feel very pleasant out there. This was a picture taken by our weather watcher today. Lots of blue, lots of yellow, fittingly. And that was St James's Park and a very pleasant day it was. Yeah, so as we head into the weekend, as I say, that high pressure moves in, so there's going to be a good deal of sunshine on hand, and also it'll be feeling pretty warm for the time of year with temperatures several degrees above average uh, for this time in March.